Hey guys, this is Mike Thompson, and I just got a giant uh, breakthrough announcement. Not an announcement, but um, just something that is what I consider an Easter egg. I had no idea that it was within Painter, uh, but I just got off the phone with the lead developer over at Corel, and, uh, and he put me on to this little tidbit, which is going to make my life way easier, and I thought I would just share it with uh, anybody who doesn't know if you know this then um, then then that's great um, I have a lot of illustrator friends who had no idea this feature was here so anyway I'm not gonna paint anything tonight but what I'm gonna show you is that if you go onto your brushes uh, one of the issues that uh, people I talk to who are new to painter and even people who use it for a daily workflow run into is there's so many brush categories uh, that are ordered kind of haphazardly that it makes going over to this palette you gotta you gotta search for what you're looking for in it and it makes life kind of difficult right so if you have to spend a couple extra seconds looking for your brush and you have icons that look similar then it is it's kind of a pain right it takes too long to find your stuff so I was talking to uh, to my friend Steve over at Corel he told me uh, actually I asked hey in the next version can you do something where you can move the categories around to make it make more sense and he told me that you can already do that I did not know that you could do that already so what that means to me is I want to have all my watercolors together it doesn't ship this way it doesn't look like this when you open it up you have real watercolor in one spot you have a whole bunch of other brother brushes then you get down to uh, the regular watercolor the older one then digital watercolor is somewhere else. Well, what I did was you grab it and you drag it to wherever you want it. So you can put it where it makes sense. So for me, I put my my pencils and charcoals, pastels, all my dry media, I just drag them into an area where they all kind of belong together. Uh, same for my acrylics and wet oils, my oils, gouaches, put all those in an area where they belong together. All right? Watercolors make sense. Airbrush can be, you know, wherever it needs to be. You guys don't have to order it this way. You do it however it makes sense to you. Now, the things that I don't use, I just drag down to the bottom so I don't have to scroll anymore. So I don't really use tinting or sumi or sponges. Um, well, I use sponges sometimes, so maybe I'll move that up a little bit. All right. But things like, um, and I use that too. Um, but you know things like cloners I, I don't really use cloners too much or liquid ink or anything like that so I pull all that stuff down to the bottom put it where I don't have to worry about it and I see all the brushes when I open this up when I open up my brush category these things are at the top I don't have to scroll or resize another thing that's pretty uh, that's pretty helpful too is is that a lot of these icons are similar and they're confusing so one thing that uh, that we talked about that's really helpful is under your uh, category display um, making it a list so you have the names there okay and then for your variants um, I just set those up as uh, I set those up as icons so you still get the stroke preview when you hover over them so you can see what they're gonna look like uh, but the names for variants don't mean anything to me so that's the way that I set it up anyway short video I thought I would share it I think it's a megaton it is for me anyway and I use painter every day so I just wanted to share it with everyone and uh, enjoy alright cheers